Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. I wanted to touch again on the valuations that I look at in the uranium sector and some of the companies uh, that I follow. Just because your company might not be on this list doesn't mean it's a bad company. Uh, I haven't evaluated all of the companies out there. These are just some of the companies that are popular that people follow that I am going over. What I did is I broke it down by the name on the left-hand column, the ticker symbol, the market, the current market cap, the reserves that it has, if they're producing or not, the debt that they have, and what you're paying is market cap divided by the reserves is your dollars per pound. If it's high grade, low grade, and then the comments that I have in the right-hand section. So these are, again, my opinion, and it doesn't mean that my opinion is necessarily right. And it's okay to own a little bit in a lot of these. So I own quite a bit of these. So just because I'm, I'm not jaded or anything like that, I own quite a bit. So I wanna go over the current valuations just to show you what those valuations are on a dollars per pound basis. So when you go in here and you were to buy a Camco, they're producing, and, and you look at it, you're paying $6.40 a pound in the ground that they have. That's a 5.3 billion market cap over, uh, well, you should probably also add in the debt. So it's even a worse valuation adding in all their debt. So it's a 640. Now what I'm looking for, and I highlighted some in green, which I think are still extreme valuations. Now, some of these carry a lot more risk and that's why their valuations are better than some of the others. But when I first was doing this some months ago, you know, Global Atomic was pretty cheap, but now it's $4.32 a pound. That's starting to get expensive. I understand, you know, they've got some, some cash flow from zinc. I get it. Uh, and they're getting close to producing. So they're gonna, what we're seeing, and I want you guys to understand, is that the valuations, they go up and up as they get closer to production and as they have more viable mines and, and, and ready to go into production. So you're gonna be paying more and more money as time goes on. So not only are you getting the valuation differences of uranium itself, you're gonna get a multiple on, on it as well. So it's a twofold increase as they explore and they find more things that goes up for value per share because that is what your, your market cap divided by your reserves. If your reserves go up, you have better value for the company. So that's one valuation metric that you could have in terms of gaining value to shareholders. The second is when you go into production. And when you go into production, your reserves get priced higher. Because what you do is you're gonna produce those reserves and gain the market valuation, whatever that valuation is at the time, and cash flow it to that company. That's gonna be cash into the company. So obviously their reserves are gonna go up in valuation the closer they go into production or if they go into production. So I, I wanna make that crystal clear. So what is a good value today that I see on a dollars per pound basis that we, could, that we could be watching or monitoring to see what we could enter? So right now what I'm seeing, now remember the, explore, the total exploration companies that don't have any reserves booked, I, it's, it's tough to, to look at those. So I'm, these are ones that have reserves booked. So Fission Uranium Corp looks very good, F-C-U-U-F. They're at $1.34. Their chart pattern looks like it may pull back. So if it pulls back quite a bit, maybe a good buying opportunity for Fission Uranium Corp. Now these other ones like Energy Fuels, Next Gen Energy starting to get a little bit more expensive, but not too bad. Denison Mines is getting a little more expensive in relationship to some of the other ones. Uh, and Uranium Energy Corp. But remember, some of these, they've got production out there, like Denison Mines, which you know, might be okay, even, even at a $4 per pound price. So if, you, if we scroll down here, Deep Yellow is still at $1.34. That is still, I, I consider, a very good price. GoVX and Bannerman Resources, 60 cents and 47 cents. Yes, they have some debt, or, or, share, or they have diluted some shares. Uh, but keep in mind that GoVX has lots more inferred. They got 89 million more pounds in the inferred category. So that could go up and increase your valuation. 
Production in 2023 and 2025 is kind of what they're estimating. They've got uh, uh, pre-feasibility permits, copper and silver as well. Denison Mines has a 15% stake. Camco and Ivanhoe stakes are smaller. So they do have some stakes from larger companies. I still think Goviax is a pretty good company. I mean, that's, that's where I put some money recently. Uh, Bannerman, again, I like that CEO. Uh, I think he's very good, Brandon. He, uh, we're, we're at 47 cents a pound. It's lower grade stuff in Namibia. Development full production within three years of final investment decision. Project optimization ends in 2020. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I like base load. They're out there. They're looking for the mother load. They're doing gravity testing. I think they might have completed it. I didn't talk to James uh, or asked him. I don't want to bother him. Just let him work. Uh, yeah, and I don't know why I have uh, Jeff in here because my best friend is named, <laughs> is named Jeff. Um, so we got that coming up. They're going to do drilling here in, in January. So that might be potential if you're in the exploration side of it. Uh, so that might be, might be pretty good. And then we've got uh, Western Uranium. I don't know too much about it. A lot of people ask, but that's cheap at 49 cents a pound. I know they had some permitting issues. Maybe that all got resolved. Maybe it's, a, it's decent to look into now. And then we've got some other exploration companies, Can Alaska, Sky Harbor, Standard Uranium, uh, Pure Point Uranium Group. Those are all probably, you know, not too bad. They're very small valuations. Now, if you look at the valuations here, this is, I, I, I did this by market cap. The biggest up top, smallest, uh, smallest ones at the bottom. So uh, what you notice is that all the explorers that haven't proved up any reserves obviously are at the bottom. And anything that's got reserves uh, are, at, are at the top. And people consider probably these being the most risky and these being the least risky. And that's why they're valued as such. So anything that you see on this list, if you think that this should be higher or lower based off of whatever reason, maybe that's the opportunity there. I think Goviax is pretty cheap, Goviax Uranium. I think Batterman's cheap. I think Deep Yellow's still cheap, and I think Fission's still cheap. So that's kind of where I'm looking for opportunities. Now, if we get a large pullback, perhaps I can type this all back in and, and reevaluate. Uh, Encore is obviously getting a little bit more expensive at 3.91. UR Energy's at 3.8. Looks like all the U.S. companies are a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher priced. So, figure out what you guys like. Uh, you know, I've got the list right here. Uh, I'm showing it. Uh, I've been looking and dipping my toe into some of these exploration companies down here, just to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more spread. You know, <laughs> I think there's a. a, a a uh, comedian who says, yeah, it's all about the spread, you know, about with a shotgun when you go and shoot something. Uh, so I'm, I'm spreading my money out. I'm trying to get it out into some of these companies just in case they hit something. Uh, I've, I've, I've got it covered. So that's kind of how I'm playing it. Those are the valuations. That's how they've changed since, you know, some months back. I think I posted this probably three or four months back or two or three months back. So the, the, the valuations have, have gone up, uh, obviously as stock prices have gone up, uh, and they'll continue to go up based off of uranium price and market sentiment. So if you guys like this content, click the thumbs up button. Uh, if you guys like making money, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you.